name is Katrina Carey, and I'm a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. And today I'm going to share with you the book, Kamala and Maya's Big Idea. If the name Kamala sounds familiar to you, perhaps it's because it's the name of our Vice President of the United States. And this book is actually written by her niece, Mina, who decided to write about an idea that Kamala and her sister Maya had when they were little to actually beautify the community in which they lived. So without further ado, let's dig into Kamala and Maya's big idea. You know what should be out there, Kamala asked her sister Maya. Us, said Maya. A slide, said Kamala. And a swing, Maya added. And a playground, they shouted together. Kamala and Maya had an idea. It was a very good idea and a very big idea. They were going to need help. Wouldn't it be great if there was a playground in the courtyard, Maya said? That does sound nice, Mommy agreed. How can we make that happen, Kamala asked. Well, I suppose the first step would be to ask the landlord, the person who actually owns the building. So Kamala wrote a letter and Maya drew a picture and they went to see the landlord to discuss their idea. They asked the other kids in the building if they wanted a playground in the courtyard. Did they? Of course they did. And they had ideas too. Let's have a teeter-totter and a basketball hoop and flowers. So Kamala wrote a longer letter and they went to see the landlord together. Dear landlord, right now the courtyard of our building is empty and no one uses it. If there were swings, kids could fly high. If there was a sandbox, kids could build. If there was a slide, kids could go so far, so fast. Can you build it, please? Here's the letter. The landlord thought about it for less than five seconds. A project this big is expensive, and we don't have the money for that. Do your parents know you're here? This was not the answer they wanted, but Kamala was not ready to give up. If we ask our parents and do it ourselves, can we fix up the courtyard? The landlord thought about it for a whole 10 seconds. Finally, he shrugged. If you can do it yourselves, sure. This wasn't exactly the answer they wanted, but it was a start. The kids all spoke to their parents about their ideas for the courtyard. They hung up posters and knocked on neighbors' doors. But they got the same answer from everyone. I'm sorry. Wow, that's a big job. Wish I could help. Which they knew meant no, no, no. But then Mr. Green stopped to talk. I work construction and I could maybe get some scrap lumber and some sand for a sandbox. Really, Kamala said? Yes, exclaimed Maya. Okay, I'll try. It wasn't a yes, but right now, maybe was the sweetest word they had ever heard. Maybe gave them hope. The next weekend maybe turned into yes. The kids all helped measure and Mr. Green cut the boards. Then they sanded and hammered and sanded some more. And then came the actual sand. They were all thanking Mr. Green when Ms. Lopez stopped to talk. I work at a garage. Maybe they have an extra tire for a teeter-totter. Wow, another maybe. 
And the weeks that follow, lots of I don't knows turn into maybes and then yeses. No one could do everything, but everyone could do something. Kamala and Maya wanted everyone to celebrate the new playground. So they made another big poster inviting their neighbors to a potluck party. There were hot dogs and hummus, spicy chicken and potato salad, strawberries and brownies and lemonade. Mrs. Flores set up a sprinkler for the kids to run through and Mr. Green bought the music. Kamala admired the new playground but she noticed there was still one thing missing. No one knew how to make a slide, but Mrs. Flores knew where they might buy one. I teach at Emerson Elementary and they are redoing their playground. Maybe we could buy the old slide. This was different kind of maybe. Uh, how can we afford that maybe? But now everyone was trying to find a way to turn that maybe into a yes. These brownies are delicious. Maybe we could have a bake sale. We can all bring toys and books and have a sidewalk sale. No one can do everything, but Everyone could contribute something. When the slide arrived at last, Maya and Kamala got the first ride. The landlord was impressed. I want to shake your hands, girls, he said. You did a good job. You all did a good job job. Kamala and Maya had an idea. It was a very good idea and a very big idea. And with a lot of help, they made it happen. Hooray for Kamala and Maya. Hooray for the per sisters. What's next, Kamala? Kamala looking up said, I'm wondering what the view is like from the roof. And that's the end of our story about Kamala and Maya's big idea. This is a great story of how you can have an idea and with a little thought, and some help with how to make it work, it can become a reality. Because remember, sometimes not everyone can do everything, but everyone can contribute something. And the great thing about a community of people is that when they come together, any and everything is possible. I hope you enjoyed our book today. And hopefully it encouraged you to get one of your own. Again, the name of the book, Kamala and Maya's Big Idea by Mina Harris. Mm -hmm.